So I'm very excited because I was out here um, looking at the setup for my new dirt, for my uh, this year's dirt garden, and I was noticing that the honeyberries, all the buds are starting to open. So all my berry bushes are coming to life. Yes, grow, grow. But what I'm actually here to talk about today, if these loud crows will let me, is uh, this interesting setup I have here um, with all the large pots and uh, my plans for my dirt garden this year. So those who have been watching my channel will remember these gigantic pots from last year. Right now these contain all what I call sort of like gentle uh, perennials, so things like asparagus plants, strawberry plants, things that are perennial but can easily be overwhelmed by weeds and even just grass. So um, I wanted to keep them up off the ground, so I ended up deciding to put them in these gigantic pots that I bought at a local hydroponic store for really, really cheap. You can also buy them online for a really good price. So I fell in love with these gigantic pots. They're so big and contain so much material. Um, over here you can see the, the uh, Egyptian walking onions and the rhubarb starting to come to life. Very cool. Um, but anyway, this, these, these containers hold so much material. They're like 20 gallon containers, I think, meant for trees. But uh, they hold so much material, they actually hold on to water really well. So I never really needed to water these containers. I watered them when I first planted them, but not any time after that. And they survived the heat of the summer. But that's not really the focal point of this particular video. I want to talk about this. <laughs> so a local um, martial arts gym was getting rid of all their, they were redoing their, the mats on their floors. And they were basically throwing these out. And I was like, hey, can I have some of those? So my wife kept a few of them to make mermaid tails out of and flippers out of, and I took the rest to use as a mat. And I think, yeah, I think it was actually my wife who suggested this. So I took these, I, they, they're the kind that interlock. So I have 21 of them, able to create three rows of seven. And what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna line each side with these large pots. So I gotta buy a few more, quite a few more. Um, on the outside, I'll be doing the perennial pots. And then I'm gonna have a row on each side here in here, and that's what I'm gonna be doing my dirt garden in. So I'm gonna be doing a t container garden in these gigantic pots that I love so much. And uh, I won't have to worry about grass growing up in between them or anything crazy like that because I'm gonna have these very thick rubber mats. And this will also create a really, really comfortable place for me to kneel down when I'm working on my garden. Now, of course, these will probably get very, very hot during summer, so <laughs> that's pr a potential issue, but um, I'm kind of looking forward to this because one, again, I don't have to worry. It's like a mulch. I was wondering about doing a mulch around these pots and a nice work surface. You know, um, so I'm looking forward to this. Now, I don't know how these will hold up outside. Um, they may be destroyed by the elements. Maybe I'll have to take them in at the end of the year. I'm not really sure. And um, that's something I'm gonna have to feel out and figure out as time goes on. But again, if they are destroyed, I got them for free, it cost me nothing. They were gonna be thrown in the garbage so I'm upcycling them and at least extending their life before they're destroyed. So yeah, I'll definitely be giving more updates about how this develops. Um, again, I will be doing uh, quite a few rows. I think a total of, I could do a total of, I think it was six, uh, 56 of these pots growing in, both perennials and annuals, my annual dirt garden. But I think this will be really cool. So I'd love to hear your thoughts below. And if you like this idea, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you hate the idea, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's cool. Um, and again, I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey.